Hello world, this is WhatsApp290, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make Windows 10 behave almost exactly like Windows and look exactly like Windows 7. So Windows 7 was recently had its support dropped by Microsoft. This is a shame because it's a great operating system, but they're moving on to only full support for Windows 10 because Windows 7 is too old to receive mainstream support. Now, a lot of people aren't like love Windows 7's uh, GUI graphic user interface more than uh, the one on Windows 10, as well as people don't want to switch to Windows 10 due to the fact that it has the telemetry data. data. I will be showing you how to make your Windows 10 computer, as you can see, this is Windows 10, because that's Windows Store, work with the Windows 7 interface instead of the Windows 10 interface, and also take in and make an attempt at disabling Microsoft's data collection. I'll be walking you through this using a virtual machine I made for this tutorial. Now, first things first, you're going to want to go ahead, open your browser, go to this uh, URL here. I've included everything you should need in this zip file. So download the zip file, extract it, and then there you go. Sorry, virtual machine is running a little laggy right now. You're going to want to, to run Classic Shell Setup to install a program called Classic Shell. This is an app that basically allows us to uh, completely change the uh, design of, of Windows. It is a discontinued app, but it does still work. Now, the unfortunate thing about this app is while it does work extremely well, it comes in uh, several different uh, parts. So it has like a set one EXE for Explore settings, another EXE for uh, um, Finder settings, ETC. So what we're going to want to do once you've installed it is open Classic Explorer settings. And then click backup, load from XML file. I've I've pre-saved all of the uh, set settings. Sorry. And then just import explore settings. Click OK. Now, before we move any further, there's there's two files we're going to need to move into place. One is this Win 7-like scheme skin, which is the Windows 7 skin itself, and the other is the script I made here that will start the uh, theme automatically when Windows loads, so we don't have to click on it. So just go to your run command. Let's copy this Win 7-like one first, and uh, go in run enter c program files classic shells as skins like i have it here and then just copy paste that f file in i already did it this follow up this folder will only appear once classic shells installed and then open run again and uh and then go to your run command again and then copy paste this uh, um string to access the to access the folder where Windows Store scripts to run at startup on on the uh, on the operating system. So this this is a simple script I made that will launch the script that will launch the Windows 7 theme automatically when Windows loads. You will need to replace this with your username and then click OK and then. What you want to do is just copy paste, once you have that folder open, what you want to do, just copy paste this script in there. And then once you've done that, we're ready to proceed further. So open classic shell, start menu settings, and then go to start menu style. Here, what we will do is we will set the, is we will replace the start button with the Windows 7 start button. And, and just do that by going Windows 7 theme and then images and then select Windows 7 uh, image. Classic, classic so IE settings, click back up, 
Look for my XML file. Open that, open that XML document. And click OK. And then go to Classic Shell. Menu settings, start menu settings, and then click backup. Load from XML file. And then import the menu settings X XML document. And then uh, there you go. Now we have it looking just like the Windows 7 start menu theme. For some reason, you might want to try doing that. Uh, putting in the Windows 7 uh, icon after after you do the last step I just did because for some reason when I do that when I do that it changed the uh, start menu because for some reason it just changed the uh, the um, start button back so let me uh, let me just change that real quick we're going to need to install Aeroglass this is a this is this this is the uh, um, finder theme that ha that Windows 7 used. Just right click, install x64, run as administrator, and uh, there, you, there you go. I already did it, so it was already there. But if you click on, <laughs> theme, if you just go to a click theme atlas image what you want to do is go to a browse and then window windows 7 taskbar reflection for opacity 40 quantity click ok and click save desktop image to the windows 7 desktop image so you can do that just by going to the uh Now what we need to do is change the uh, desktop image to the Windows 7 desktop image. We can do that just by going to the uh, uh, settings here. Go desktop background. Choose your desktop background. And then browse. And then go Windows 7 theme, go to the zip file, select the Windows 7 GPG file. And there you go. You now have the uh, Windows 7 uh, theme. You might need to restart the computer before some of the changes will take effect. Then, last thing, you can hide the search bar by right clicking on it left clicking on it search and then just unclick so show search box sorry click click hit it and then there you go. So that's about it for this video. So that's about it for that part. Got a Windows 7 background, Windows 7 search. You still have the Windows 10 icons, but you know, um, looks a lot more like Windows 7 now. Then the last thing you're gonna wanna do do there's there's actually just one more thing you're going to want to go to task go back to a uh, and then next what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at turning off the windows 10 telemetry so another reason why people don't want to upgrade to windows 10 telemetry to windows 10 is because of the uh, telemetry data it has where microsoft introduced a whole new system where it where the OS uploads all of the data from your computer, like, you know, things you search in the search box, apps you use, ETC, and stores this on their servers. So included here is a small program that will attempt to save a lot. Now this is destroy Windows spying. I didn't make this program, but you can try using this. And what it will do is it will, um,
is it will basically edit your host file to block to configure your host to block all the services in your uh, that Microsoft is currently known to be using to upload to their ser- your stuff to their servers. And it will also add all of the currently known Windows 10 uh, telemetry IP addresses as a block rule on the Windows firewall. So to do that, just open the app and then click destroy Windows spying now. And then just wait for it to run and then I'll show you. It's going to take a minute. It's adding Windows firewall rules, as you can see. And this should configure the Windows firewall to block all of the tele- telemetry data before so that it won't get out of the computer. But watch out because, you know, even if you do successfully disable these things, they can just make an operating system update that turns it right back on in the future. This will ask you to restart the computer again, but I'll just go ahead and uh, show you the firewall rules it added. So as you can see, it added all of the currently known telemetry IP addresses to be blocked by the Windows firewall. So that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I will see you next video.